Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. So this new event, Divine Ingenuity, which is basically Super Mario Maker and Genshin Impact, has arrived and it's actually pretty interesting. So I wanted to show you guys a domain that I made that's quote unquote basically impossible. Now <laughs> I'm going to show you why it will seem like it's impossible and then after that I'm going to show you how to actually beat it and then how to actually make it impossible because I had a little oversight and <laughs> that's why it's not actually impossible. But I will show you guys how to make impossible levels in a bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at this supposedly impossible level. And I'm just going to tell you guys... Oh, wait a second. That's really unfortunate that it saves my edits that I've already made. Okay, so I guess a change of plans. I'm going to show you guys how to make an impossible level instead of showing you guys how the previous level I had was supposed to be impossible but isn't impossible and now I'm going to actually make it impossible. So why don't we actually go ahead and um, just go hop in because it's my domain and I haven't published the changes yet. I guess I'm not able to play it in its unchanged currently public version which is honestly a real shame but I'm going to show you guys the intended solution for this stage and then I'm going to you know um, pretty it up a bit and show you guys how to make it impossible. So here's the intended solution. You have to get some serious vertical height and you know what? Actually, I'm gonna fix the coin trails to actually, you know, show them where they should be. Yep, great. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the intended solution and then some cheese and then finally some counter cheese to that cheese. So it's a real shame that I can't play the original version of the stage because um, I actually find that to be far more interesting. But anyway, basically the intended version uh, strategy for the stage is to use a ton of vertical mobility and this combination of skills between Zhongli, Venti, and Kazuha allows for the highest amount of vertical mobility in the game. And this will allow us to get up to here. And finally, you do need um, that additional height to get all the way across to this thing over here. and you're just able to nick it. All right, so we're gonna try this with Xiao really quick. But what's actually kind of funny about this is that <laughs> you need Constellation 1 Xiao in order to make this work. And oh, we're so close. But what I actually think is going on there is that the root up there is blocking Xiao from actually making it. Hmm. Gonna have to be really careful about that because if Xiao can make it across, right? If he can somehow get around that route, then this stage will be possible to do. So I'm gonna do some more trial and error. Oh God. He jumps the same height as actually, oh, oh no, as Venti's tornado. And this is not an accurate representation. So let's, um, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to try this a couple more times with Xiao's burst in mind. Okay, there we go. So this gives me a little developer, level developer shortcut. And the goal here is to find an angle to see if Xiao can actually use his burst and hop across. So if he can do it from here... <laughs> it looks like no matter what he tries, his head bonks the ceiling, right? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 
was so close. Maybe if I had his E a little bit um, sooner. So I think he can actually make that. So that's pretty unfortunate for us. I'm gonna give Xiao's burst a go. Oh, so close, so close. Can he actually jump without bonking the ceiling? Because if he can't, which it looks like he might not be able to, then I think we're fine. I, I don't think we actually have to worry about Xiao. Okay, so now that everything is set up, I'm going to show you guys how we can do this. Now, first we're gonna set this at one minute and 30 seconds, and I'm gonna show you um, the intended strategy, how long it takes, and so first you can precast Zongli's pillar, then you just hop up with Venti, go up, go up with Kazuha, and now you wait for Venti's cooldown to come back. And I actually placed this block in a very specific position for a very specific reason, which I will explain after all this. So now we've made it up here. And because it does look like we need Venti's um, hold E in order to make it across, because as we saw with Xiao... And there we go. So the intended strategy there took 43 seconds as we saw. But what we can actually do is we can save roughly 14 seconds off of that. And let me guys, let me show you guys how to do that. Actually, maybe not like 14 seconds, but quite a bit actually, quite a bit. So we're gonna move this all the way down to 30, 30, let's just, let's try 32 seconds. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see if we can clear it in that amount of time. And this is why this, uh, this is how you actually publish a level that's supposed to be impossible to clear. So, normally you have to do this and you have to cast Venti's Hold E and you have to cool down to wait. But, if you actually cancel, you'll notice that it's still there. And you can try this domain with Venti and Zongli's pillar precasted. So look at that. And this allows me to bypass Venti's entire cooldown. Now, I do think that this is um, not enough time. Very close, very close. So let's bump this up to 33 seconds, uh, 33 seconds and see if we can complete this. Oh my gosh, we are so close to touching that. <laughs> we'll get it guys, we'll get it. There we go. Okay, so I guess we're gonna publish these changes. Low difficulty, speed run, sure. Why not? There's one more reason why I placed everything the way it was, and it is because of Geo Traveler. Let's say you replace Xiao with Geo Traveler to try to bypass one of the big jumps. Now, I tested one possibility for Geo Traveler here, which we will take a look at. So I place this very specifically. This way, Geo Traveler can't reach any of the walls and or the block up there. So in other words, there's no way to put a rock on the side and then jump over with Kazuha and then jump up to that one. So right now, like I said, the only cheese left remaining, I think is a perfectly placed Zongli's pillar with Xiao's burst. And if someone is willing to go through all that to, I guess, 
uh, you know, actually accomplish that, kudos, man, kudos. I, I respect your, I respect your dedication. Okay, so the domain has finished publishing. Now you can ignore the unpublished edits. It's still the exact same as it was. It's just, I think when you click edit, that pops up. So yeah, let's give it a try. And I'm going to show you guys why it is impossible. Now, if you recall from earlier, we pre-casted Zonli's Pillar, and then we pre-casted Venti's Holdi. But if you leave and try again, guess what's no longer there? That's right. It's Zonli's Pillar and Venti's Holdi. As we can see, it is not there, not pre-casted. So you have to wait for Venti's cooldowns, which yeah, basically makes this impossible now. You might be able to cheese it with Xiao's Burst, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and if one of you guys actually managed to pull that off, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, um, that's about it. That's how you upload an impossible level. And now, you know, what the heck? I guess I'll give it a good old try. Like, actually give it a try. Um, we'll precast Zhongli's Pillar to save a tiny bit of time. Hop up. Venti's hold D. And we have Kazuha. And, um, yeah, so now, as we can see, we have to wait for Venti's cooldown. And... And you know what? Why don't we just go for it? Oh, oh, oh! Not even close! Look at that! Vertical height as well as horizontally, we didn't even make it that far, even with Xiao's triple dash. So, yeah, I think I've successfully uploaded an impossible level. Now, one crazy thing that we could potentially see is a traveler main somehow <laughs> building uh, enough um, of their balls on the walls in order to get all the way up there and climb up the balls to get up there. I don't know if that's possible, but. Maybe one of you Traveler mains can give that a try because that would actually be pretty epic. I'd love to see that. So, yeah, if you guys do clear it and you record it, um, do let me know. Shoot me a message. Uh, you know, post a comment or something and hopefully I see it. And um, I'll be happy to actually make an update clip showing you guys beating this uh, unbeatable level.